just, just come over, just come closer. Uh, so far as we are here, we need to know. Uh, we've seen three graves here, and this one has not been unveiled. Yeah, so I won't talk about that one. These are two that um, has been unveiled, and on every year, first August each year, there is an Emancipation Day here in Ghana, and it's being held here. Why? Because this place was the largest slave market. Large, there are a lot of slave market, but this one was largest. And everyone that came here passed through the slave dungeon, then to the other world. <clears throat> In, uh, uh, now we can see uh, Madame Crystal and then Samuel Carson from UK and uh, from US and then from uh, Jamaica. Their bodies were exhumed. Mm and then brought to Ghana in 1998. Now, when we went to the castle, we saw door of no return, mm -hmm. and then the door of return. Mm -hmm. They went to a door of no return, but there was a big ceremony in 1998 here in Ghana, and they exhumed their body. They, it came by air, and when it landed, it came through the ocean to the door of return, hence, everyone over here returning to the motherland so they are the gates openers wow. they open the gates for you all for all of us here to return to the motherland that is why we have the two graves here our uh, people come to you know have the wreaths lay their wreaths so coming august first um there's going to be a, a big ceremony here very huge people comes all over the world the truth to this place to witness and to participate in the uh, uh, Emancipation Panafest. Emancipation Panafest. And then, just, uh, uh, you can turn, turn either to the left, right, or behind you, you can see some of the freedom fighters. Oh, okay. mm -hmm. There are pictures all over this place. They were all talking about freedom. Mm -hmm. See Dr. Kwame Nkrumah, we have um, a lot of W.E. Du Bois, uh, Marcus Gavi and many, a lot of them. All these people are freedom fighters. That is why we see their pictures here. Is there any question? If there are no any question, then uh, I, have, I, have a question. I think uh, yes, madam. Um, why is that one still covered? Yes, that's not been unveiled. It will be unveiled oh. during Emancipation Day. Uh, I was told that there was a woman who um returned to the land from us and he said his grand great great grandparents were part of the slaves that were taken there and their body were exhumed they had to bring them back to the motherland so it has been covered and during emancipation day on 31st uh, first august first august this year yeah we are in 2023 this year it will be unveiled not if they're going to cover it nicely again and then it will be on there. So when we can, we can talk about that one also. Okay. Currently, this two has been on there. That is why we are talking about. So you see, ancestral graveyard. If any of them also is being found somewhere, then there are more space. There are more space all over this place <laughs> that we can, uh, they'll bring their body to lay them to rest finally. And then as I talked about ancestral memorial wall of return, memorial wall of return. That's why some of us wrote our names and our addresses there, telling people that we have returned to the land. Thank you so much. And may the Almighty God bless us all. Thank you. Okay. Bless you.